Saturday night, I quit Silverado Travel cause you have to Stay up working late at a job you hate Kia ora team, welcome back to another video. I'm Daniel and I hope that you fellas are having a good day, dressing well and of course getting stuff done. Now in today's video guys, we are going through my top 10 affordable fall slash winter essentials for 2019. Now within each of these categories, I will be showing you a few different options that are at slightly different affordable price ranges. Because the thing to note is that the term affordable is a very kind of like subjective word. We're all living different lives, we're at different parts of our lives. Some of you still might be in high school, college, some of you might just started your first job, and some of you may have been in a full-time gig for a while. So we're all kind of like, like I said, in different uh, areas of our lives, and our financial situation is very just individual. But for the sake of this video, what I have done is gone out to kind of like scoured all over the internet to find kind of like the cheapest option but trying to maintain the quality within each of these garments so guys sit back get cozy and let's get into essential number so one guys, first up on the list for my full slash winter essential for 2019 has to be an overcoat to me the overcoat is one of the best parts of actually coming into fall slash winter now the great thing about overcoats is that they come in a very diverse range of like shapes colors materials and sizes personally myself am a sucker for a big heavyweight oversized like wool overcoat if you're on the shorter side and you're a little bit concerned if, if you can still wear overcoats firstly 100 you can you can look at the overcoats that do have a shorter length to them and actually finish above the knee line. Now, there are five brands that I have chosen for the affordable overcoat. First up, obviously, I have to mention Uniqlo. Now, the ones at Uniqlo can pretty much range between 89 and 150 pounds. Now, the good thing about the ones from Uniqlo is that they do offer a wool and cashmere blend. And on top of that, Uniqlo always does have a lot of sales, so keep an eye out for that. And then we come on to the Zara ones. Now, Zara can roughly range between 100 and 150 pounds, and you can still find a pretty good quality wool overcoat. Bershka is another option with a price range between 79 and 89 but with these ones you are looking at synthetic wool coming into a little bit more on the higher side of affordable we do obviously have cos this one is the only one that cos has available right now now it is 250 pounds and 70 percent wool even though the price range is a lot higher here i believe it is a beautiful color and a beautiful shape that you are getting for that price tag then finally we do also have olive clothing which also is the same price at 250 pounds now the good thing about these ones though is that they're actually reversible so you can switch up the style technically you're getting two overcoats in one the second affordable essential on the list guys is scarf i myself am a big fan of scarves when it is really diving into the cold winter days wrapping that scarf around your neck just keeps that neck so cozy and warm especially if you're also wearing a turtleneck like this as well it's just that added just warmth like you just feel so snug on top of that scarves are actually really good as a styling accessory especially if you do want to play with your tones it can really complement the outfit there are two places that i would recommend you getting your scarves from for an affordable price once again uniqlo this is going to be a recurring theme here they do offer a cashmere one for 40 pounds and then if you want to go a little bit on the cheaper side they also have a heat tech scarf for 13 pounds then the other place i would recommend you to look at is cos now cos offer their cashmere one for 70 pounds and then they offer a wool cashmere blend for 55 pounds third affordable central on the list guys is socks and again hear me out because i know socks always sounds like a weird one but when it does come into fall slash winter, I personally like using the socks as an accessory and kind of like using it for color blocking. Hands down, the one place that I recommend, and I'm pretty sure you guys all know this as well, uh, to get your socks from is Uniqlo, and that's just it. Just go Uniqlo. What Uniqlo offers is four pairs of socks for 10 pounds. And what Uniqlo has is literally every single color in almost every single shade. So you can really get creative with color blocking and playing with like tones within your outfit. Fourth up on the list guys is boots, whether this be Chelsea boots or kind of like combat style boots. When we do come into that kind of like winter time, you know, everything's a lot wetter, dirtier, and in some places it's just snowy as well. So a solid pair of boots is really good. Now the first place that I will recommend you guys to get quality boots and an affordable, very affordable price is Depop. If you guys remember my Doc Martin boots, the ones that I wear all the time, I got off Depop that had only been worn a handful of times. I think I got it for 30 pounds and that was in the video, the Depop challenge one. Brand new, those shoes are 130 pounds and I got them for 100 pounds off. Next up is ASOS. Now ASOS has a range between 20 pounds and 60 pounds. When it is in that price range, it is typically either fake leather or fake suede. A little bit higher up on the price range, but it is the Doc Martin boots and these can go anywhere between 100 pounds and 150 pounds. Fifth up on the list guys is wool trousers or heavyweight trousers. So when it does get cold and you've got that cold breeze coming through, trousers like the Izzy Minyaki, 
as much as they look great, they're not gonna keep your legs super warm in the winter time. So wool trousers or a heavyweight trouser is definitely an essential. On the lower end of the affordable price, Zara does come in with some trousers between 25 and 50 pounds. I personally don't own any Zara trousers and when I have tried them on in the past, I typically don't like the fit of them. They look great on their models on the website, but I find when you get them, they don't really complement your body. The next place that I would recommend you guys to go is thrifting. So if you're thrifting in London, you can typically get a solid pair of trousers between 20 and 30 pounds. Yes, they're secondhand, but you can really find quality materials at that affordable price. Jumping up a little bit on the price range, we come in at COS. Now their tr trousers range between 69 pounds and 79 pounds. What's great about COS is they do offer a range of shapes and colors. And then last is once again, olive clothing, very similar to COS, same price range, 69 to 79 pounds. Now what I do find with olive clothing is that they do offer a bit more of a unique shape uh, in their trousers. So definitely do check them out. Number six on the list guys, turtlenecks. I mean, turtlenecks, just like overcoats, a solid essential, actually like all of this on the list, solid essential for fall slash winter. There's something about a turtleneck that I just love when it does come into that winter vibe. I mean, obviously it keeps your neck toasty warm, but I feel it can just elevate your outfit and add that little bit of just like, I don't know, I wanna say sophistication to your outfit. First brand that I do recommend obviously has to be Uniqlo, hands down. This is truly where I would just say to go and get yours from. Uniqlo do offer a cotton one for 10 pounds. Personally, I would skip straight past that and go to the lamb's wool one, which is actually the one that I'm wearing right now, which is 30 pounds. And then if you really wanna kind of splash out for the quality, you can go to their cashmere one, which is 90 pounds. Another store you can look at is COS. Now COS Merino wool is 70 pounds and their cashmere turtleneck is 150 pounds. Now, if you don't have Uniqlo available, what you can do is go to ASOS and theirs do range between 15 and 20 pounds. Personally, I don't believe the quality is really there, but if you're just going for the style aspect, they can definitely sort you out. Number seven on the list, guys, and this is definitely a Daniel Simmons, that was weird saying my name, a Daniel Simmons essential is a fisherman's beanie. However, it doesn't have to be a fisherman's beanie, it can just be a regular kind of beanie as well, uh, so you guys can cover your ears. But a beanie slash fisherman beanie is definitely an essential. All of my fisherman's beanies are the mini fisherman's beanie from ASOS and they come in at eight pounds. The next place you can look at going is Uniqlo and they offer a cashmere one for 25 pounds or just their standard heat tech one for nine pounds. Another option is their wool one from COD which is 25 pounds. Number eight on the list guys is an umbrella. Now typically if you're living in London this is just a year round essential for you uh, but for everybody else in the world hopefully it's just a fall slash winter essential. The reason obviously I do recommend an umbrella it's quite obvious is that it will keep you dry. That's why. It also means you don't have to put a raincoat on, which can kind of like change up the aesthetic of your entire outfit. Now we all know you can go to any little corner store, or supermarket, anything like that and grab an umbrella. Personally, for an affordable price, the one that I found has just like not broken for me because all the cheap ones seem to break is the Uniqlo one and it comes in at 12 pounds and in a range of different colors. Number nine on the list guys is a denim jacket slash leather jacket. Kind of like team those ones in together. Definitely an essential when you're on more of the full side and you want to play around with kind of like layering. You know, you can have a turtleneck and then you put a denim jacket over or a leather jacket over the top. First off, the place that I'm going to recommend, obviously first is Depop. If you want, again, quality and an affordable price, Depop is where you should go to get your denim jacket. On Depop, they typically range between 20 and 40 pounds. And that's actually looking at brands like Carhartt and Levi's. Now, another place that I recommend for affordable denim jackets is Weekday. Weekday actually has a range of them between 18 and 55 pounds and they do often have a lot of sales. When it comes into the leather jackets, ASOS is kind of your cheapest between 30 pounds and 120 pounds. Personally, I wouldn't really recommend going on the cheap side for a leather jacket because I believe you can just tell on the quality from far away. Your next option is Zara and they have them between 80 pounds and 150 pounds and they offer genuine leather. And the last one on a little bit more of the expensive side of the affordable side is All Saints and they offer them between 250 pounds and 350 pounds but you are definitely getting the quality with those ones. The one that I personally have is from All Saints as well and I believe it's a leather jacket that's going to be with me for the rest of my life and you really get to break it in and build the character within it where if you go onto the ASOS side of things it's probably going to last you a year or two depending how often you wear it. And last but not least guys number 10 on the list is a crossbody bag slash tote bag. If I had to choose one of those I would definitely choose 
tote bag because that is where you can keep your umbrella, keep your scarf, keep your beanie and all things like that. And I'm just a big fan of tote bags. Very, very functional. However, if you are looking at crossbody bags, Zara does have quite a solid range of crossbody bags and they do seem to keep up to date with the style and trends that is going around. They offer theirs between anywhere between 15 and 30 pounds. As far as a quality tote bag, I do recommend weekdays one, which comes in at 35 pounds. And then if you want a waterproof one slash water resistance one, I recommend Reigns, which is 39 pounds. I picked up the Reigns one about two weeks ago and I've actually been using that one ever since because whether it's sunny outside or rainy, I know that all my stuff inside is gonna be protected. And there we have it guys, that is my top 10 affordable fall slash winter essentials for 2019. I hope you guys were able to get some value from that and find some places that you can get affordable stuff for quality so you save money but still look good too. I will link all the items that I showed on screen in the description box down below. And if you guys have any questions, once again, leave them in the conversation section down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Keep dressing well and I'll see you fellas next time. Peace.